Hey guys, it's your little auntie, and we got a beautiful, blonde, messy beach wave type look brought to you by Mega Look Hair. So if you're interested in this vlog, please continue to watch. Alright guys, here's Mega Look Hair. This is like my fifth review for them. So clearly I love them. So let's go over everything that came in the bag. You will get wig caps, an edge band, lashes, a pretty bling clip, edge brush, and this beautiful ash blonde brown wig. It came pre-curled and it is just a gorgeous wig guys. So this is a frontal wig. There are four combs in here and there's a strap at the back that's adjustable and a strap to make it glueless in the middle so let's see what this look like up against my skin we're gonna tint the lace a little bit brown so let's hop straight into that so I'm gonna take my foundation and thin it out a lot lot so this won't see through to the hair um, and then I'm gonna set it with a face powder uh, mostly my bronzer so it won't move and then I spray it with makeup spray to lock it in so when I use my even spray to put it on and my gel to put it on that foundation won't move and get real sloppy so I touch it with my finger to make sure that it's not moving and we can go into working on the wig I am not going to do any baby hairs honestly I do not like colored baby hair so if the wig is blonde if the wig is red if the wig is ginger I don't like the way the baby hairs look I still do them sometimes but that's because my daughter be doing my hair so I'm doing my hair today so we're not going to do baby hairs okay so Mega Look Hair is a great company they do have different color hair black brown everything you could think of they have bob short hair long hair lace frontals closures everything on their website they do have where you can split it up right now i'm just thinning this out with nairobi and spray and this is a heat protectant because i thought i was gonna curl this but i wanted to stay like that messy like effortless look if that makes sense so as i was saying they do have split pay quad pay options if you don't want to pay for your whole wig up front and i do have a discount code that can help you you guys need this blown wig in your life you need to like spice it up here and there and this is different guys so i'm gonna put my gel on and blow dry it and then i'm just gonna put the wig down let's just get the hair out of my face y'all just pin it back so that we can get to it i'm not doing anything major like i said no baby hairs any of that so i'm just gonna take the even spray i love this spray guys love it love it love it it allows me to switch my wigs out a lot nothing to adhere to my head and i'm gonna tie it down with the edge band who invented these guys the who invented this tell me down below in the comments because they were they are g they are a genius okay because we was using head scarves and everything else so i'm just gonna cut the lace off i'm gonna cut it as close as possible and i'm using these very tiny tiny scissors that i love i think a company sent these to me um but yeah just cut it off and then i go back in with that even spray um to make sure that it melts in and I do it as I cut the lace off so I don't have to go in with the blow dryer afterwards and dry it because by the time I get back to that part it'll be dry if that makes sense I hope that makes sense if it don't oh uh, yeah we'll try again next time so I'm just gonna tie this in down again to make sure that it's really adhered to my head so boom we're going to disguise that lace a little bit. I'm going to use my face powder. Actually, I'm going to use my bronzing powder. I like to use my bronzing powder most because I bronze around my forehead. So that's closer to the hair. Does that, why I keep saying does that make sense? Okay, anyway, so let's comb through the hair. And I'm going to get all the extra out from me plucking it and me cutting the ear tabs off. So I don't feel like I'm shedding everywhere. And I'm going to define the part with my face powder girl come on blonde i'm gonna put in a little bit of curl at the front and that's it we're just gonna finger through it <laughs> yeah we're gonna finger through it and make sure that you know everything looks okay and i love it just like this no baby hair no anything i'm gonna frame the face just a little bit 
feel free to cut more in it but i'd be scared to do that y'all i know i don't really know how to do hair i'm just pretending so anyway i will make sure i leave mega look hair below along with my discount code this wig is fire it's so soft it's so manageable you know blonde hair be crunchy and stuff sometimes not this one mega look hair said not them okay it will be linked in the comments guys i love you and let's move into the vlog All right, guys, so it's a new vlog. Y'all like this blonde hair? I'm always like, I might go get sugar to put some layers or something in it, you know, a little bit more. But, yeah, this going to have to do for right now, child. Very soft, manageable blonde hair. I love it. So, guess what, guys? I got some more veneers. You guys remember a couple of, hold on while I'm talking. A couple of vlogs ago, I was telling you guys about how I was getting ready to go to um eat and watch the dallas cowboys game and my top set broke oh my gosh i was devastated because i have three bottoms because they kind of got a little too big when i lost weight it's weird because i didn't know your teeth like i didn't understand that but they did so i had three bottoms and two tops and one of my tops broke so i literally only have the top that i have on and that's kind of scary because child these break what so guess what removal veneers is sponsoring me once again so thank you for sponsoring this portion of my blog okay i got new sets right here this is the box that they came in i haven't even opened them yet guys so let me just give you guys a back history i have been wearing these since the pandemic so 2020 absolutely mm -hmm. love them don't have any problems out of them they real reasonable if you want the veneers look but can't commit to veneers or don't want to spend veneers money because you can get these for roughly around a thousand bucks you get what i'm saying which might sound like a lot to some people but when you compare them to the actual veneers it's very very reasonable here's my thing though i don't eat in mine yes you can eat in yours but i don't eat in mine so i'm gonna eat see look they give you these cases right here see i got another bottom in here they give you these cases right here. It might change. We're going to see when we open a box. I don't ever put this in my purse. It's right here in my vanity. So when I'm out to eat, which I'm out to eat every other day now, right? Now that I can eat, I'll be eating. Um, Guess what I do? I slip them right here. Where y'all always tell me to stop slipping stuff because y'all know I slip my phone right there too. I slip them in the side pocket of my purse. I wrap them in a napkin. Stick them in the side pocket, stick them in my purse, stick them right here. And that's probably how they broke because I wasn't storing them properly. So, y'all, these are investment pieces. Take care of them unlike my tail did, okay? Thank God I got some more. So, let's just go ahead and open this up. And, 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 off inside of here, it say removable veneers USA and how to insert them. The cleaning instructions are on the back. You can get natural celebrity white. So it's different shades of white. I do have celebrity white. Because I, if I'm going to have them, yeah, we want them to go all the way. I'll take them out. As a matter of fact, let's just do that right now. See, it makes a big, big, huge, huge world of a difference to me. I naturally have smaller, they call them baby teeth. And... They need to be widened actually. So just I'm gonna just put the bottom in. See the difference between the top? Let me show you guys the difference between the top and the bottom. Color wise. Now let me put the top in. They literally just snap on. It just makes you look more polished. You know what I'm saying? Clearly I can talk in them. Yes, I can drink in them they're good so off inside of here this is what i need to put in my purse right now okay right it's a plain blue case and 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 <laughs> da, 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 da. here's my new veneers i'm super excited uh oh that's the little paper so of course if i'm gonna show y'all something you know i got a discount code right 
Mm, yeah, yeah. We gonna save them coins any kind of way we can. The discount code will be linked below the video, okay? And... Girl, hold on, it's a little tight. Girl, what a minute. There's nothing in here. <laughs> Somebody's gonna offer trick on me. Oh, girl, I was gonna say now removable nears. <laughs> so it should say sanitize. Oh my gosh, I got so freaking nervous. My my life like flashed before my eyes, and they sent me two more top. They were gonna send me a whole set, but I was like, no, I just need. Two more tops so now i have three sets in total they ain't gonna break anymore so here's a close-up of how they look let me get my head out the way so there's a close-up of how they look mine are so tiny because my teeth are so little <sighs> yeah i almost had a heart attack because i love these things like i i won't even take pictures i don't want to go out or anything if i don't have them so i will make sure i leave the link below make sure you check them out clearly i love them i have been wearing them three years now okay link will be below hey i think it is so dope to have women come out because let's be let's be real we like to go out where the fellas are it is it's okay nothing wrong with that but when we can come together and celebrate each other and celebrate our friendships and then meet other women y'all real talk women run the world okay so we need each other for sure it means so much to have you guys come out here tonight. Drink up, eat up, walk around, meet somebody that you don't know. I don't know about that. I'm still So it's kind of happy Valentine's Day, first of all. Yeah, I do still look like last night, minus the week, because it was a long night very long so um it really ain't my business to tell but i just dropped nicole off at the airport and yeah nicole has lost a child that was her child too it's just too much like it's almost overbearing And you guys, can, if you a flat bread, you know why I didn't go. We had to, she had to get a last minute flight, and so I was like, less expenses, <clears throat> and um, she's not gonna be able to work, of course. So I'm gonna be the only one carrying a lot. And you guys know, just because I'm in this paid off older house, I do have another house. I do have built built uh, businesses, etc. So somebody has to work, y'all. And it's just like sometimes I wish I could just unplug because I kind of don't know if I needed to be there or not. She asked me if I was going, but I'm just like, nah. And then this is all happening on Valentine's Day, so. You know how they say, try to look at the good and everything and don't question God. God makes no mistakes, but it's just like, why us? Like, ever since the pandemic, Nicole has lost her dad, her grandma, now her sister. Is potentially not going to make it. Her mama's got breast cancer. My dad's got stomach cancer. I got ate up by parasites. We lost our son. So the doctor did put me on depression medicine. I guess I should go pick that up, but I really need to wait till she get back in case my body don't react to it right. I'm not here, you know, alone. But I'm gonna take a brief intermission cause I, I don't even know how to process any of this right now.
and I'm going to just try to do all I know how to do is work to keep my mom busy. I'm not going to go out and still, I, I don't even know what to do. I, I don't want to just sit in the bed because I don't need to go too low because I need to be here for Nicole. So I'm going to just answer a few text messages and emails and I'll come back because I got what Miss Creative Diva brought me last night and um, something from Amazon. Yeah, I should get home. I am the best worst mom ever. I was just like, I don't feel like taking you to school. I'm not going to feel like coming back and getting you. So just stay here, honestly. MCD Luxury. I talk about it all the time. Her brow pencil, her latte. This is her lipstick that's still on. Um, oh, she just got me some of her new stuff. So this is Vixen on my lip. The pencil is dark brown in my eyes. I wear that almost every day. So this is her lash book. Oh my gosh. So cute. Look at the back. Oh, these are some fluffy lashes. Oh my gosh. I wonder are they individually named or no, I don't see them. Oh yes, this is this is the fluffy mink looking lashes. So that's that one. That's a whole bunch of stuff in this bag. So here's another pair of lashes right here. This is CEO. My code is Plat Brat or Plat Brats on there. So try both. I'll verify before. Oh, I love these. Six figure. I used to wear. Is this the ones I used to wear all the time? Yeah, I know I got been a problem for it. She put a liquid lipstick in here. This is, oh, I've been wanting this one, Coco Brulee. It's like a nude nude. I always wear a latte, latte. It's like a brownie nude. This is like nude nude. This gets you the look, honey. Thank you so much, sis, for all of this. And she sent me, I mean, gave me all of this, too. Got me some Starburst in there, the pink ones, baby, because we are pink Starburst around here. So she gave me two brow pencils in dark brown. Yeah, I thought I ran out. I had a whole nother pencil that she gave me when we went to the Sheen event. She just launched her lip liner. Um, this is her only lip liner, so I was going to say the name, but it's only one on the website. So, it's this beautiful brown. Oh, my gosh. All this going straight to my vanity, honey. I hardly like buy Sephora like brands and stuff. Everything I use be like black on brand stuff. This is a new gloss that I don't have, which is Caramel Kisses. I don't have this. Oh, my camera about to die, y'all. So, I got three more lip products. Wine for me, bear it all, and naked. Wine for me, bear it all, naked. Look at bear it all. Whew. Yes. Wine for me, bear it all, naked, Coco Brulee. So you can see the difference in Coco Brulee and Bear It All. These are gorgeous. Let me get the ones I already got. Latte is at the top and Peach Me is at the bottom. It's in a different container. So, thank you so much, sis. And so let's get into this Amazon box. I love these news, y'all. Woo, I'm a new girl now. I'm about to love me some color, honey. Boy, times have changed. Oh, now the battery ain't blinking. So, finally got my light, y'all. The girls love this light. So, ooh, makes a world of a difference. It came with a charger and it came with a stand. Like if you wanna put it on. Let me turn this other light off. So I turn all lights off. I still have the back window open and That's what the girls, the, the girls be having. Every time I'm at a beauty event, they pulling out these lights. Amazon. I will link it below. And I got another uh, lighter. Let me show you guys that. So, I got a purple one. So, you know, when I did my Amazon favorites or whatever, I showed you guys. What the heck is going on? I showed you guys that I got a two-pack that came with a black and silver. Well, the silver one went out. So, this was like six bucks and it was purple. 
So I got this one. So yeah, works really well. Well, you just charge it and light your candles and stuff. I will link um, all of the Amazon stuff below. Love on your people, y'all. All right, here are the current glosses. I got two different types. Um, this is the first. They came like this. I should have cleaned them off. This is Naked Sugar Baby and Caramel Kisses. Oh, you can't really see them, huh? The color, because I'm against the light. Squeezy Tubes, we got Bear It All, Peach Bellini, Top Notch, and Millionaire. And this is the newest one that she sent, which is Caramel Kisses. Hey y'all, it's your little auntie. The one that looked dressed act too young for her age, but I'm still really lit. So it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I already celebrated. If you guys saw that in my last vlog, remove a boobineers. Thank God I did because we had a tragedy happen and Nicole is not here. But I'm trying to put on two bottoms. So Nicole is home in Nashville. Pray for her family. She did lose her sister. So I have been low today. Y'all know holidays, even though it's just Valentine's Day and all that, I be missing my child like crazy. Then this, then my baby is gone. And sugar is sad as well. So we decided to just go to dinner, me and my baby. So we're gonna put Roger 51 in the hair. I gotta put a bobby pin in, guys. I have on this gorgeous purple number from Shein. With these clear shoes right here that are purple. I have on a Miss Creative Diva new liner. Lip liner with Coco Brulee. And this gloss right here from Laura Mercier in Vanille. Okay, I am going to wear this shirt, Geiger. I've been crossbody in my purses lately. That takes the weight off my shoulders because my breasts are so heavy. And let's just make the best of this bun number nine. No mat. I really don't want to go anywhere, but me and Suge need to get out. There's nothing I can do. I'm thinking about driving to Nashville tomorrow but only if my baby need me because guys I should know better I know you can't spray the good stuff on your clothes because it's straight oil based I'm trying to see if this is going to dry or stain look like it stained me fuck we just got oh I could put a Chanel brooch right here or Chanel I'm always so frigidy, frigidy and in such a fucking rush. That's because I hate being late. So, I, I hate it, despise it. So, let's try to pan down. Oh, it's still on this side. Oh my gosh, bra still showing. Let's do that. Maybe if I do that, that look, it's a look, girl. So I'm gonna just look jacket because it's cold. And let me go, but we missed our reservations because I barely found me and my baby something last minute. It was Valentine's Day, huh? But I wasn't stopping because I'm a mama, wife, and all of that once. So I gotta make sure my daughter good as well. For my date or whatever. <laughs> Stop playing with my baby. Where you gonna take him? 
By the horse. Oh, right there. <gasps> oh, we're gonna take our pictures afterwards. No. Cause I left the good. Gonna be fat and full. Wow. I left the good light in the car. The car right here. Okay, go get it. The uh, clip on light. Where is it? In my purse. Make sure. <laughs> See, I don't, it's weird. It's like I don't know what to do. Like, I'm such a fixer and a helper and a nurturer that when I can't help, it makes me feel like I'm not doing enough. But Nicole is really introverted, so when she don't want to be bothered, just don't bother, y'all. I don't know if you guys remember from when I had um, the parasites. You know, her father passed away and she didn't even want me to come to the funeral with her. She said she liked the she doesn't really digest death well. That's why like she don't ever want to go to the cemetery and stuff with me when I go see my son. So she likes to like handle things alone and I don't think that's safe, but I don't know. It, it's just like I'm pushed up against the wall right now because I'm not just going to bogart down there at nobody's house that I don't have a relationship with. Me and my wife have been together 13 years and I don't have a relationship with nobody but the sister that passed away. So, it would be kind of weird for me to just mm, take it back up because I ain't got a bra on. So, I just pulled out my little $6 croc charms from um, Shoe Deal. And I'm going to replace like the Starbucks. Girl like the starbucks ones and stuff with like bling these crop charms came from one of you guys i will link them below very inexpensive good charms but i have lost a couple so as i lose them i replace them and i was replacing them with more like bling charms like these but now i don't have any more so i had to start putting these on which is still cute but <clears throat> You don't have any crocs to put them on? No. No. She doesn't need any croc chums. Her accent is way better than mine. Y'all know I always got a share. But she don't want none. I ate one pork skin. One. One. And now I have acid coming up. I've been dealing with that too, y'all. Passive reflux again. And it's like since I got my teeth um, cleaned and stuff, I literally can taste that acid in my mouth. I couldn't before, which is strange. <laughs> the doctor said, yeah, you had too much. It's very nasty when you think about it. Too much going on. So that's why you couldn't. Now, you all good and clean. It's nasty crazy how those parasites did me memory i never forget let it go down in the books y'all and i'm still recovering from it obviously we've just had a rough couple of years lord help us help our soul help us help us help us that's all i can say I don't even know what we did to deserve any of this. Because at first it was like, what did I do to deserve all this? But shoot, Nicole getting hit too. 
Jeez Louise, what do we do to deserve this stuff? I got a big box of Valentine's Day goodies over her at. Don't be peeking. Got me some bougie items. It's a lot of them she sent for free. Oh, and I do have some blinged out jewelry back here. I can show y'all from Shein, girl, to get the look. I told y'all we go mix the, the expensive with the inexpensive. And, oh, and I never told y'all. I said that I was going to read to you guys what the conversation about um, YouTube about being shadow banned and losing subscribers and views not being low and unsubscribing people and uh, views, um, I mean, videos not hitting the algorithm. But them folks pissed me off so mother freaking bad. I got a pair of shades missing. I'm that person. They pissed me off so bad. Because it was a bunch of runaround, but when I got off the phone and the email and stuff with them, I started seeing a difference. And so, what I had to do, y'all, it's sad. Ugh. Because, how can I say this? The, the answers they was giving me was so freaking dumb. Like... People accidentally hitting the unsubscribe button or they're unsubscribing saying that they was unsubscribed and then reconsidering coming back. Which that could very much be true. But like everybody lying. You get what I'm saying? Everybody lying. And then as far as the views, the algorithm, I understand y'all pushing new channels. You can look at it as like we had our time to shine. But at the same time, we can still be in our shining moment. But we'll never know our full potential if you don't push our notifications in our videos. And it's not just me. Like, I know a lot of people with 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 subscribers who get 5,000 views on their videos, 10,000 views on their videos. Are we boring? Maybe. All of us, though. All of us. Now, if it was just me, I'd be like, people just don't fuck with me no more like that. My time is... I ain't gonna ever say my time has came and gone as long as I'm still profiting a lot. I live solely... Well, not solely. I know I own a company. But... Yeah, I live real good off of YouTube. So as long as I'm still making a profit, I'm going to still do it. Because people uh, will often say, quit. You've been in it. It's your time. It's time to move on to something else. How? And I'm still making six figures. How? Are you making six figures at your nine to five? Like, stay in your lane, you know? So it would be different if it was just me that has 200,000 subscribers and I'm getting 10,000 views only. But... I can name a lot of channels, and we all have group chats about this. It's me, it's Miss Creative Diva, it's Miss Diva Like, it's Glamour's Untay, it's all of us have age channels, and our videos don't get pushed. But it's long, y'all. Who is long? And it's still a work in progress. It's one of them. We're going to look into it. I got a card expiring soon. Visa. We're going to look into it and we'll get back to you type thing. So it's still ongoing. So when we get to the bottom of that, um, I'll come back and update y'all on what they said. Because it, it might be somebody watching me. Or you might be that channel that's jumping right now. And five years from now, they go shadow ban you. So you need to know. Be ahead of the game. This is what we came up with, guys. So we got everything down to like pinky. Or I wish I had something else silver. But they cute, girl. They cute. So, I literally wear them every day. I wear them like hashes. Like, if you look close, I kind of need to wipe them out. Because that that's my mom. I'm ready. That's my get up and go. Shoot. That's it. <laughs> Alright, so in this video, I'm going to do a Valentine's Day haul. And I probably should have saved this for this. But this is not really Valentine's Day gifts. Well, I guess if you consider what I got myself. So, I'm just going to show you guys right now because clearly I need to keep my mind flowing. So, I, we talk about this necklace all the time because you guys ask me, uh, you know, where you can get it all the time. And I say a local, I got it at a local bazaar. Now, if you are in Dallas and you want to spend, let's see. If you are in Dallas and you want to spend a lot on a chain that's cool, go to Big T. The um, jewelry shop right by the pizza shop. I mean, not by the pizza shop, but that the right part when you walk through the front door. It's only one right there. So, anyway, 
that's where that came from but Shein baby gonna get you right too so I'm gonna show you some pieces that I always wear from Shein that you guys always asked about and I hope the light is not too bright so this is a chain that was roughly around seven bucks it's quite similar to this one I said this one in my last haul but it's not this one has baguettes in it so this one is only twelve dollars though <laughs> Okay, so you can get it. You can have it look for the night. If you're breaking, just keep buying them because you only spent $12 on it. $12, y'all. And Cold Platinum 15 will get you money off on the Shein website. This didn't come from them, though. Just the necklace. I have to explain it. Just the necklace. I have a lot of emblems my jeweler made, and I switch them out on each necklace. Now, that necklace also come in gold on the Shein website. But it's really hard to catch. So this one didn't come from Shein. I paid 60 for this from somebody. But if you can catch it on the Shein website, they do have it for 60 bucks. I mean $12. It's real hard to catch the gold one. Hence why I paid 60 for it. So this one is probably like 15 too from Shein. And I love them. They don't break me out. They don't they not turning me green, nothing like that. It's this one. And it's hearts. Hearts. Super cute. Now I should have got the gold one. I'm gonna order some more in a minute. It's hearts. So that came from Shein as well. This is the pieces I already have. And then to match that bracelet, I have I mean that necklace, I have this bracelet. You watch me all the time. You've already seen all of this, okay? So that's the stuff I already had. Now let's get into what I got. Now that why did I do that? That silver heart necklace i got the bracelet to it so now i need the necklace to it and i need the silver heart bracelet <laughs> so that's what i'm saying i'm gonna have to go on there and order again um i got this that i absolutely love that i wanted silver it was like 16 bucks that bracelet was like seven dollars look at this one this is gorgeous i don't know how it's gonna lay okay it lays like this Let's do that. See if it'll focus. Oh my gosh, that is too cute. Oops. Let me turn the ISO down. And this one is the gold one. So I need to go in and order this silver one. Let me let me do all that when we we get done. I got just a plain Cuban. It's gold. This quality isn't this great on this one. So mm, I wouldn't get this one again. But this probably was like $7. And it's the gold one. And it's, it's like that yellow, yellow gold. That make it, it look, make it look a little obvious. Then I got this chain. It has a bling out heart at the bottom. I got it in gold. And I got it in silver. Uh, you know it will all be linked below. Short apple juice break. My gosh, I'm obsessed with those. This I got in gold and silver too. The gold one looks really cheapy. It do. So, could have lived without this one. But from the front, it's beautiful. But from the back, girl, it's like two gold. Uh uh, look at the difference in this and like this one. Oh, you can't really tell on camera. Maybe this one. Thank you, mama, because I was just saying I had some shades missing. You see the difference? And then, and then I got it in silver. And this silver got the hollow. Like holographic rhinestones. Alright. And then. All this was under $40. I ain't playing because it was already like $7, $8, $9, And then I used my code. I got four of the Van Cleef Duke bracelets. Because I'm not paying no three, four thousand dollars on a bracelet. I don't care if I do have it. Y'all make fun of me all the time because I don't live that influencer life. I'm sorry. It just ain't worth it to me. 
But my auntie taking care of, my daddy taking care of, my daughter's taking care of fully. So I choose to spend my money on other things. Like perfume too. <laughs> so this is them. I got the like white one, the black. I got a necklace one just like this, the green and black look. This one is the all green one and this one is the all black one. So I'm going to keep them in a package till I'm ready to wear them because them things tangle easily and I don't want them to break. So I'm about to go and shed them right now and um, order the colors of these things I didn't get. Then I'm going to, I have to do a try on for Amazon company. So I might get dressed. I'm going to take a nap first. I might get dressed, do that try on for them and then come back and do the Valentine's Day haul if I got all the stuff here. I should have waited to show the jewelry when I was cute, boo. <laughs> As I'm preparing myself and looking on Shein to place another order, if I don't have it, it's because they didn't have it in stock. So I was trying to get like this bracelet. I was trying to get it in silver, the heart one. They don't have it. So I did stumble across other stuff though. Next haul. Oh, uh, look. I Y'all look, I was watching Gina and she was throwing one of her Rose Forevers away. She said it had got crunchy. Why all of mine are still soft and in good condition? This one right here, four years old, honey. I got that my birthday 2018. Now, 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 it used to be purple and clearly it's turning white, but it still looks purple whitish and it still looks good to me. Like, that's crazy. Maybe it's because she had white. I don't know if it has something to do with the dye or the color, but like even when these turn all white, they're still soft. I had a black one too, but I gave it to my cousin. I don't know what made me pick that black one. Okay, so I had to just hop up and down the jacket because Walmart keep calling me. So if you watch my last vlog, um, I switched doctors and she told me that an African-American woman should never put her care or her body in the hands of a white tea man to make decisions. And so, you guys know my doctor had put me on progesterone because my hormones are so out of whack. Good thing is, it's a good and a bad thing. Bad thing is I paid $48 for them because my, my insurance wouldn't cover them. Bad thing is, as soon as I got home, the first thing on the paper is causes breast cancer over and over so make sure you're checking your breasts regularly in the shower every night and so it, it alarmed me because that's the reason why i never wanted to take them but to just see it on paper like that biggest day over and over i showed it to nicole and was like yo i showed it to nicole and was like yo this doesn't make any sense. like why would i do this you get what i'm saying and so i never started taking them so when i went in to see dr darden or whatever i was like Mm, I'm, he put me on these. I haven't started them. I need your opinion. She was like, no, ma'am. She said, all those are going to do is stop hot flashes anyway. And my hot flashes aren't nearly as bad as they used to be. Like, they used to be so bad. I would get up in the middle of the night just taking showers. I would have to keep changing my sheets. I would have to put something under me because I was, like, wetting my bed. Not peeing the bed. Wetting my bed from sweating. So, guys, um had any of those days you know if it get a little hot in the middle of the night i'll turn my fan on but it's not nearly how it used to be so i was like she said there's no need for you to take those because that's what that's for and she told me some natural remedies remember when i asked my doctor for natural remedies my doctor told me that's not my expertise because they want to make they want to prescribe me something to do i'm doing a whole video on this um so i'm not going to get into it but it's basically what everybody else be saying black cohosh and all that and so she said with this level of post menopause all you can do is stabilize your mood and make sure that you're not um i mean stabilize your mood and exercise and eat as clean as you can because you just need to balance out your hormones at this point so what she did was prescribe me a low dose of um paxil which is for depression which i need everybody say i need anyway my brother texted from london and was like nikki you've been fighting all these battles along long enough it's time to get on something 
because like you guys see me on camera you see me at events but you don't see what it takes for me to even get dressed to do that stuff or like how when i get there i'm already ready to go or it's just behind the scenes stuff y'all never see and i'll never show that like i don't i don't i might i show it sometimes but um anyway so i'm here to pick that up because they keep calling me i guess because it's a medicine for depression they like girl get up and get your medicine because i've never had walmart call me this much and i don't even know if i told y'all in my last vlog i got pulled over and they said my car was stolen it's just been a lot going on but who the person who i got the car from mixed my place up with somebody else and so it's coming up that i'm in a ford 2014 ford and i'm just like this devil but anyway so i just hopped up out the bed to come pick my medicine up and i don't know what to do i'm just sitting around laying around in the bed i'm trying to watch youtube and stuff i keep falling asleep nicole has like totally tapped out on me which is understandable um they're having a very hard time down there and my my instinct is just to was my instinct was to just go but it's not that simple for me or i would have went when she went so like nicole is she's not gonna leave her mom right now which is understandable and so if i go i can't stay okay, look at our baby y'all hey big boy hi how you doing <laughs> that boy having a time in his life. You put new rocks in here? Chilling up in there for free. Hey, for free boy. Alright, so I decided to get out and fill my tank up. Run to the post office. I forgot I got a whole company. When the stuff be going on in my head, child, I be forgetting I got a whole company and orders to ship. That's why I haven't restocked in forever because... I really have put my company on the back burner because I be having so much going on. Anyway, and I'm going to take Suge to ask some food because Suge cooked some pasta that she made enough for the whole street. And I don't want it to go to waste, so I'm going to take some to her daddy because it's really, really good. It's spinach and shrimp pasta. Just to stay out the house for a little bit, y'all. Girl, how much is gas? I don't ever look. I just insert the card. Oh, dang near $4. Oh, okay. And look who has a full tank today. Hmm. Your little auntie is growing up. Yeah, I should have took my camera, but I didn't need my camera like all in uh, Suge Daddy house. He got a dog. Y'all know her dad. He can't see, right? Look at his service dog. Oh, my God. I should have took my camera. Hi. How you doing? He, he went back with uh-uh. Oh, shoot. I don't hey, need y'all saying I'm a bitch. Hold on. <laughs> Look at your son. Let me start it over. Nicole. Hi. How you doing? He went back with her. Uh -huh. Look at his right little uh, bitch, y'all. Hi. You like that? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> but I look too dry in the face. I just threw this wig back on and y'all can tell. Look. Gotta take y'all needs to get her a shot, y'all. So I just do something back on to get out the bed. And I need some deodorant, girl. Nicole took the deodorant. And I got some in my travel bag. But I'll have to dig in the closet, take it out. Then the next time I travel, I ain't gonna have none. I'm gonna be somewhere musty. Need to go to the store. Because I took it out at home. But I usually don't take stuff out my travel bag unless it's low. So I'm gonna just get another one while I'm in here. I left my phone, y'all. Mine all over the place. Look at this little crackhead. They got the best daughter in the world. <laughs> Guys, did I show y'all the Baccarat, infamous Baccarat dupe? Our mouth untold. Did I show it to you guys or I was just so busy making it real? So this is the newest Baccarat dupe. And this brand is very, 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 very popular for duping like Creed, Adventus, and etc so this is bum guys i actually bought this but someone else bought it for me so i'm gonna box this back up and actually i should do that right now 
Then I have to go and get the paper plates for my car until my real plates come in. Um, I think I, I don't know what vlog I'm on, guys. My head is all over the place. And thank you to Urban Decay for sending me these awesome palettes. They're too cute. So this one is the Chill. And this one is the Mucho. So look at this packaging, guys. So let's open up the Chill. There are your colors. And here's Happy. I mean, Mucho. So let me just do this. Super pretty palettes. Oh my gosh. I like the transition color right here in this one. But look at the sparkle and stuff in that one. Oh, hey guys. It's the next day. I don't think I've done anything today but laid in a bed. So, I said, let me get up and record something. Um, I've been talking to Nicole. They have the services. It's not until next Saturday. It's Saturday now. So, she's just going to stay until further notice. She don't even know when she's going to come home. So, that's good. She can stay there with her family and, um, you know, make sure everybody is okay. I will not be going until Thursday because... I, you know, I'm an entrepreneur and I can always pack my camera up, my computer up and go. But like I said, it'll just be very costly for me because I would have to get a hotel um, because um, she's staying at her mom's. So I'm just going to wait and go Thursday through Saturday. And I don't know if I said it already. And I'm only saying this is so sad that I have to even say this. But I'm only telling you guys this because people are going to ask. I am not there. And I have to get a hotel because I have no relationship with Nicole's mother's side of the family. Her dad's. I had a little bit the brief time um, we knew him. But yeah. So, let's just talk about Landsmart real quick. It's an eyeglass company that I work with all the time, honey. All the, all the time. Let's see what my camera on. Are we on the right setting? Hold on. So, it come in a box like this. Your glasses will come in a case as such. In here, you will get a cleaning cloth and information about the company, which I told y'all and them before. Switch that cleaning cloth out. Go back to the old one. Okay, your glasses will come like this. I never know the glasses I'm going to show you guys. So this is one of the pair I'm going to show you. It's wire. It has like a little bit of a tortoise or animal print at the top. And then the rest is gold. So that's that right there. Let's see if I can get on in a little closer. So let's just try them on. Oddly, I have contacts on. So I will not be able to tell how they look on me. Because when you put your glasses on top of contacts, it blurs everything. So, y'all gonna have to tell me. <laughs> so, that's that pair right there. And they have been running a Facebook ad with me. So, if you guys see it, uh, drop a positive comment and etc. Because, you know, people go in. I hate when companies run a Facebook ad with me or Instagram ad with me because... Lord Jesus, the internet is so cruel now. Everybody's so perfect behind them keyboards. And they just talk, 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 talk. It's just like, what is wrong with you? Who raised you? So this is, I'm a, oh, these are super cute. It's almost like a cat eye. It's wire as well. And it has a little bit of bling and a pearl over here. Let's see if it'll get in on that. Hey, extra finger. <laughs> so they're black and gold. Another wire pair. And I bet these real cute on me. <laughs> I wish I could see. Is it y'all? <laughs> when I go back and edit, I'll see them. I did that. Because I always be having stuff on my teeth too. So since we're sitting right here, I can just go ahead and show you guys. Um, oh, shoot. That's my cousin. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell y'all about this menopause brain. I told my cousin to come get that untold because somebody bought me one. When they came back in stock. And so, 
my cousin didn't get a chance to get it so i was like you can have mine girl it came here and started recording and then you hear me, I, y'all saw me recording and it was like i was making these weird faces and some just told me to look at my apple watch and she was like i'm here girl i had to get up and run <sighs> out of shape can y'all hear it anyway if you're new to me i store my glasses in these and this come from amazon so since we're sitting here this is the home vlog we ain't went nowhere this vlog have we have we shoot no i ain't nowhere to go i wouldn't dare be out in these streets and my baby somewhere grieving <laughs> But she want me to get out because it's taking me low too, honey. Honey. Now, let's move into what I got for Valentine's Day. So, I can go ahead and start using it. If you guys watch the vlog, they got me this because TMI. But I'm always eating on her pillow, y'all. Or editing on her pillow. And she be ready to go to sleep like, can I have my pillow? She's so, she's so nice. She ain't... She just will sit there and suffer and then finally be like, can I have my pillow? So she gave me this so I can edit in the bed. It's a cup holder for my water. It's a little dresser right here. If I want to put something in and it has legs, okay? You can eat on it because yes, I do eat in the bed. Don't act like y'all don't. If you don't, eat what you want to cook? You think you're special? You think you're different? Okay. So, um, she got me that, and she also got me, when I get to it, I'll show y'all. So, you guys saw my, me unbox this on TikTok and Instagram. Graham. <laughs> on Instagram. Maybe you haven't, because I have been slow loading stuff. It came from one of you guys. Thank you so, 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 so much. I do not like to say who stuff came from, because I don't want people flocking to them begging unless they give me permission or i don't want um it's a lot of people that say hey i'm sending you this but you don't have to say my name because i'm not doing it for cloud or anything like that i'm just doing it because i appreciate you or what you do or i feel like you deserve a gift so she got me nomad which was on my list honey i got a list honey and this was on it honey so, it kind of was a surprise, but it wasn't because she did write me and say, it's not even in here. But y'all know what Nomad look like, right? She did write me and say, hey, I would like to do something nice for you. And I told her, no, 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 please don't. You've done enough because that's who sent me her extra exalte. And I was like, she was like, girl, you don't tell me what to do. And so, I was like, well, I got a list of perfumes. I'll just send them to you. So, I didn't know which one she was going to get. I just knew that she was going to get one, if that makes sense. And so, she did get Nomad. <laughs> Super excited about that. So, you guys saw I got some soap. This is the soap that I used to use and I did have a collaboration from. If you are lost, you got to go back to the last vlog. There's Strawberry, there's Aquafina, and there's a new one, honey, that's called um, Psychedelic. God dang, it smells good. Oh, this would be a beautiful candle. I got to add some what's in it because that smells so awesome. And a strawberry body butter. So, all of that came in this bag. So grateful. Speaking of that, your girl did go make a candle. Gentle Fluidy Platinum. It was a spinoff of the scent Gentle Fluidy Gold. i don't feel like going to go get it y'all so it's in there <laughs> um it's called gentle fluidy platinum a spinoff of gentle fluidy gold and we made it so then i did get this from nicole as well which it's just a card holder you guys know i like different type of card holders because i'm always out networking or something and i like to hand my cards to people so that's a purple metallic one it came from Amazon as well. Skylar Clean Beauty. And this is Peach Feels. Now, I'm on the fence about this. But we'll be back to talk about it. Because I absolutely love peach. You guys know that that's not a secret. I absolutely love the fragrance. Until it settles on my skin. It starts giving me bug spray off a little bit. So, I'm going to test it a little bit more. And I did get Ooh Bouquet. This is a Lancome fragrance. But, like, I think it's a certain line. Mason Lancome. 
because this is like 300 bucks and Lancome fragrances be like 50, 60, 70, 100. So I'm not a perfume reviewer or anything like that. So I don't know why this one is so much higher than the rest of them. But leave them in the comments. But I don't like this. I'm not going to say I don't like it. It's okay. Oud. I love it. I actually have Oud Satin Mood in my hair. But it can't be too much oud or it just gets overwhelming to me. Like masculine or it starts smelling like hair grease or a tire. It's really hard for me to explain. And when you first spray this, baby, the oud is strong. That dry down is beautiful though. What is that like vanilla in a dry down? It got a dry down though. So I got some items for my bougie person. If you don't like bougie items, click off or or don't watch and talk trash like people do um bougie basically mean replica non-authentic not real but i have a friend who sells this stuff and sent me over a whole bunch of stuff y'all now i cannot link this it is illegal to sell in and market or advertise replica items i can show them to y'all but i can't link them but y'all can hit me on instagram or something Okay, so she sent over a bag full of earrings, which most likely I'll put in a giveaway. Just a bunch of silver Chanel type earrings. And it just say, thank you for your order. It's like one, two, three, four, five pair in here. Look like a couple of these I already got. So I'll just go through them and see which ones I want to keep. And y'all ready? Because she's the sus show down. Now this, I'm going to start. I'm going to build. Okay, I'm going to just start with this. I know y'all seen this before because I've had it before and did a giveaway with it, right? It's like this salmon, 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 croquet, salmon. Ha! Like pink purse. And my thing is when you get stuff like this and you give it away and it come right back, that means it's me for you to have. So stop giving stuff away. So I'm just going to keep it because I'm going to have an outfit that that's going to pop with one day. Same, same, same exact same bag white on gold hardware and i have one she sent me before i actually wore it valentine's uh weekend when we went out to eat actually you might can see it it has white and gold and silver hardware it's literally right here so she gave me that one too y'all know how i do if i like it i love it so i'm gonna speed it up because the camera is about to die i did get the 19 in this pretty purple my gosh look at this camera you better not die on this oh i love that bag so we got more of a fuchsia magenta pink see the difference it's a different type of leather too and then, yeah, I remember I put on my Instagram that this was on my wish list, but the real one. Girl, 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 stop playing. Stop playing. This one. This is a new release from them. Well, the actual authentic one is. Chanel is one of those brands that I don't mind duping because to me the price is just astronomical five seven ten thousand dollars I ain't I, I got it like that but I guess I don't cuz I ain't spending that <laughs> Good morning. So I said I was gonna try to do something today, but I physically can't Finding myself right there just laying in this bed non-stop It's very deja vu-ish and I don't like it, but I don't know what to do. Hold up, because I ain't finna cry on camera. Alright, so I'm going through this, like, phase where Nicole is really, like, tapped out. She barely, like... I, I know it's a lot going on, but I kind of want to be in the know up here, too. But I'm not going to be selfish, so I just going to let her phase out a little bit. I think I told y'all she's not coming home until after the uh, services, which is a whole week from now. Um, so I've just been trying to stay on track so I don't get low because um it's a lot you know I worry about her mental she left her meds um she said that her mom has plenty because I guess multiple of her family members are on medicine so I'm just sitting here I'm proofing last week's vlog and I think that's what got me so emotional because 
we went back and forth on because she works Valentine's Day. So we went back and forth on celebrating the weekend before or after. And what made us celebrate the weekend before is because this weekend, which is the weekend after, also rolls into President's Day. So everybody is off and everything was a little bit higher. So I actually... I actually had made plans because it's just something about Austin that like makes Nicole feel so free and she just love it. And Nicole, um, you know, she suffered from severe anxiety, depression, and etc. So I was going to surprise her and take her back this weekend as my surprise. And I just had to cancel. I mean, I, of course I had to cancel everything. I even had planned on taking her back to the candle making place because she loved it so much. But I just I just got so emotional because it's like not as if we already got a lot to deal with, but now she has this memory every Valentine's Day. It's supposed to be the holiday of love and you know, here's something she got to think about every day. I mean every Valentine's Day. It's just so unfair, y'all. It's just so unfair. Like, I don't know. We really need to, like, start taking mental recess and make ourselves go somewhere every month. I don't care. I mean, we, we get out a lot, but, like, trip-wise and just unplugged. Because I really don't know how neither one of us ain't went crazy. Honestly. Maybe I am. So... Like I said, I'm sitting up here proofing that blog. I had a lot of pre-recorded content, so although I'm actually I'm not actually doing anything right now, I have a lot to put up here in Instagram. My Instagram posts are actually scheduled <clears throat> because these companies don't understand. Just like if you work a nine to five, your boss still wants your work done. These companies don't be understanding, and I know that personally from when my dad got sick, I got sick, and my son passed away. They'll wait about a good two weeks and then be like, so you feeling better? Like, it's so inconsiderate, but. I guess it's just like having a nine to five. You got to go back to work after a week or two. So I'm just not trying not to get caught behind on work because I don't need that anxiety. I really wish I could just go to Nashville. Like, I just hang out with youtubers or something just so she'll have me to come to at night but i'm not even really sure she would leave her mom at night so i think that's another problem i just feel helpless and then i'm here low and nobody's here for me so i just rather um her be surrounded by family so if she get low she'll have a lot of people there for her versus you know leaving them and coming over to a hotel with me every night who's low as well like the 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 uh what they say how to how to you know the saying shit y'all know what i'm trying to say how to blind go leave the blind so i did order takeout i have been eating horrible heads up my last doctor's appointment my blood pressure was perfect um kidneys was perfect but i am pre-diabetic and my cholesterol is a little elevated now 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 the last blood work I got, my cholesterol was elevated. This time, it's down 40 points. So, I'm not stressing over that because I have managed to get it down 40 points. I just need to bring it down a little bit more. Which, if you know anything about postmenopause, I really have no control over that. When your estrogen drops, your blood sugar, and your cholesterol go up. So, you really got to work out every day and eat right. And that's what I'm going to start doing. But, I'm going to start tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Because my nerves too bad right now. I don't want no salad. I don't. I want some fries and a cheesesteak. So, it's just a lot going on. I don't even know what to say anymore. This is like movie stuff to me. Like, wow. Wow. And it's just like, What's killing me the most is Nicole just done tapped out so I don't bother her. I'm not going to be overbearingly texting every five minutes when she want to text me and update me on what's going on. I think she got a lot of responsibility. She has to write a poem. She wrote she wrote a beautiful poem in my son's um, obituary. She's a great writer. And she has to um, 
get the pictures together. And it, it's just she has a lot of responsibility, guys. So I'm not bugging her. So let me show y'all what I got from Caesar's Snack Shack. I love this place, guys. Oh, it's not fresh. I should have went and got it. This is a Philly cheese steak, but it's made with chicken and their fries. And these are just nachos. So, yeah. Y'all know every time I go to the mall and I see that young dude dancing on the street, I found his TikTok. It like, he is, you know what's crazy is I stereotyped and I was like, oh, he done got a hold of some bad drugs. But then.